It is that time of year again. That's right, it's time for the imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. So, much like the last two years, I am going to be doing a daily video Advent Calendar kind of thing, countdown to Christmas, um, for the next 24 days. And I'll also be doing a Christmas Day one as well. And in front of us today, we have the selection of trading cards that'll be in the Advent Calendar. So, I'm going to go through them real quick, and then we'll actually get on to the calendar. So, first up, we've got a booster box of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151. Now, for those of you with eagle eyes, you might notice, wait a second, that's Korean. Um, well, your eyes are better than mine, uh, because I bought these at a convention uh, at the end of October in uh, London, MCM, and I thought this was Japanese, and then I brought it home and I realised it wasn't at all, it's actually Korean. So, since the start of November, I've actually learned to read Hangul, which is the writing style of Korean. Um, I've learned most of it now, so I'm going to test my knowledge, I suppose, with these. Uh, so there's 20 packs, as you can read at the bottom there. There are 20 packs in this booster box. Uh, and to make up for the last four, I also bought a Build and Battle uh, box of Paradox Rift, which is the newest English Pokemon Scarlet and Violet set. Um, so this comes with four packs, which will make it 24, uh, along with a half deck and one of four promo cards. So we'll open that today as like a bit of a treat to start it off. And the last thing is a booster box of some Chinese knockoff anime girl cards called Goddess Story. Um, so I've kind of come across these last year or so I've seen a lot of posts online on like trading card forums and subreddits and stuff like hey guys I got this full art Nezuko uh, how much is it worth and people are like oh uh, like maybe 50 cents because this is knockoff um I got this booster box for 24 pounds it has 30 packs in it so just goes to show uh, how cheap this is there is less than a pound a pack as you can see on the front, this is basically a bunch of anime girls from different series. So you've got Nezuko from Demon Slayer. I want to say that's the girl from Arknight. Those are the Akatsuki Clouds from Naruto. I think that's Special Week from Uma Musume Pretty Derby. Um, and there's probably a few others. Let me know in the comments if you recognise these. We'll be opening them up. Uh, that's Nezuko, obviously. That might be Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion, I'm not sure. But there's quite a few cards in there. So we'll be opening one pack of these a day, along with one of these things, which I'll be mixing in my patented Christmas mystery thing. This year, it's a plastic celebrations tin. Uh, if you're not from the UK, you won't recognise this, but if you are in the UK, uh, you, you know, you know. It's not Christmas without... Celebrations, they're like mini chocolate things. Obviously, this tub is empty though, so I'm gonna go empty this into the tub. Actually, before I do, I'd just like to um, show you guys the booster box. It's really cool, actually. It's got some of the um, card art from the cards in the 151 set. So we've got Slowpoke, Magneton, and Scyther there, and we've got Sandslash, Dragonite, and Porygon there. So, um, yeah, it's just a really cool box. Anyway, right, I'm going to go empty it into there. All right, that's 20 packs of 151. I did individually count them. It also comes with this handy little check sheet. Um, but whilst I can now technically read Korean, I can't understand Korean. So I'm going to be reading some of these cards just to find out what the Pokemon are called in Korean. Um, but I, I don't actually know the language, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's now open up this Paradox Rift Build and Battle set thing. And yet again, I just remembered actually that there is one of... Oh no, it says in the back there somewhere. It's one of four promo cards. Um, and the thing that makes these promo cards cool, they've got a stamp in the corner of the set. So the card will say Paradox Rift, obviously, in this case. So I'll open, uh, I'll open this up with you fellas. So there is the four packs. One, two, three, four. Very much looking forward to those. Uh, and that is a uh, sheet. Is that a... Good Lord, is this a check sheet as well? Actually, I think we may have... Uh... Hey, there you go. We've got, <laughs> we've got two check sheets. Will I be using them? <laughs> no, not at all. I don't really use check sheets. And our promo... I don't know what the four promos are. 
Hey, we've got a Zatu. Very cool. And as you can see there, it says Paradox Rift. This is the only way I think you can get these kind of promos. Don't know if they're valuable or anything, but uh, I do quite like Zatu. He was cool in Mystery Dungeon for the DS, the first one. So it's very cool. Right, and then we have Goddess Story. So uh, I'm just going to tear this open. Uh, these are very... I'm... I, I, I bought these because they're weird, essentially. Um, I wanted, like, some non-Pokemon cards to go with it, because I want to open, like, two packs every day. Um, and I was looking for weird stuff, and then I remembered that a friend of the channel, Tom, and I came across uh, a card from one of these sets. So this is set number eight, apparently. I couldn't tell you what each of the sets entail, but... Uh, I will be keeping them all in this booster box because, again, I, I don't want to mix it up because uh, we're going to do one of these a day and one Pokemon a day, so hang on. That was a pain to open. It was almost like it was produced on low-quality cardboard in a Chinese factory somewhere. Anyway, I think all the packs are the same design. Ah, uh, yes. Cool. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put the lid on this now and mix it up a little bit, and then we'll dive a hand in and choose one of the packs. All right, let's see what is inside. I'm just going to put my hand in and we have pulled a 151 pack. So, um, these I believe have five cards in them, kind of like the Japanese set. Uh, whereas obviously over in the uh, West we get 10 cards a pack, I want to say. Um, I don't know what the chances are with these cards, as in if there's like a higher alt art. Because um, if you haven't seen any Pokemon 151 stuff, basically the um, the alt art of the Pokemon, there's like 30 or 40 of them or something. There's like a chat. Actually, it feels like maybe there's more than five here. But uh, I don't know the card order, but we're just going to go through it. So we have Eevee, or as it's called here, Eboy. So that, that, that is actually, that's the Japanese name, E-Boy. Very cool. Uh, we got Suruk Jeng E, I think. That's Poliwool. Very cool. We've got Ko, Kogasu. Kogasu. Oh, Ko, Kogas. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, well, Dogas, I think, is the Japanese uh, name. I'm not going to read all of them. We've got Ivysaur. We've got a Haunter. Very cool. Actually, yeah, there are more than five. Ooh, we've got a... Rev oh, yo! I forgot! Okay, so... In... In the Japanese... Well, Asian sets, I guess. I don't know if there's a Chinese set, but in the Japanese and, I guess, Korean, there are Pokeballs on the Reverse Hollows, but I think there's also a chance to get a Master Ball. So it'll be this symbol but with an M on as well. And I think like people are chasing the master sets, as in to have everything reversed but with master ball. That looks so much cooler than the British one, though. A British, the, you know what I mean, the Western version. Dude, that's so cool. I'm so glad I bought these now. Uh, wait, our first. No, this is okay. This is our only. Yeah, okay. So this is our rare, and that is Raichu, or as I like to call it, Raichu. <laughs> okay, yeah, it, its name is Raichu. Uh, it is Raichu. I suppose, in Korean, but, uh, hey, there you go. Well, that was, these feel a little bit glossy. So how many did we get? Four, five, six, okay, seven in a pack. That's interesting, because I want to say the Japanese have five, and we have, like, ten, so it's some kind of, like, weird midway between it, which I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. And now, to pick a random... I'm just going to start from the top. Now... Because there's 30 packs, I'm going to open two every five days, which includes today, the 5th, 10th, 15th, and the 20th. And I think I'll have one left over for the, um, the 24th, basically. So we're going to do it that way because I make the rules, and all you can do is watch. Uh, please, please do keep watching, though. So, uh, I, I do appreciate your watch of these videos. Uh, right. Christ almighty, what is wrong with this glue? Okay, let's, let's rip it open then. Now, let me know in the comments if there's waifus I don't recognise. I don't know how obvious these are going to be. Ooh. Ooh. So is that, is that, oh my god, that's Sagiri! 
That's Sagiri from, um, from Aeromanga Sensei. Oh my god! Ah, oh, I'm going to take a photo and send this to Tom immediately because he also appreciates uh, cultured anime. He, he's never actually seen it. I can't read what it says because this is in Chinese. I'm 90% sure that's Chinese and not Japanese anyway. Because um, this is this is all stolen artwork. This is someone else's artwork, which is another reason why this set is kind of not valuable because it's not an official card game or anything. I'm, I'm keeping that to the side. Um... Don't know her. She's maybe from like a gacha game, maybe. Same with her. She's got some very interesting design going on. Wait a second. I wonder if the back says what she's from. All right, looking at the back, um, I don't think it says. I mean, I can't read Chinese. I'm, I'm not learning Chinese as well. I've, I've learned one Asian language for this video. Um, I don't know, but it does have stats. So if anyone's interested in stats, in on this on this fake knockoff Chinese thing is that is that Tatsumaki from One Punch Man? She's wearing the right outfit and she does have green curly hair. Is that Tatsumaki? I can't work out. Oh, Tornado. I think she's also known as. Okay, I recognise her. Um. No, no, Disgaea maybe. Is she from Disgaea? Let me know in the comments. There we go. Well. I think I recognise two there, and we're going to do another pack, because uh, it is technically the first day of, of things, and it works out well that way. I'm not even going to preserve a pack, because, what's the point? Okay, that one came up backward. <gasps> oh my god, is that Mio from... no. No, it's... no. I thought that was Mio from Keon for a second. Is it Mio? Or is it another... Blackhead anime girl with cat ears wearing a maid outfit, maybe. Well, I choose to believe it's Mio. Um, don't recognise her. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you if you know who she is. Uh, don't recognise her either. There's she's got some interesting character design though. I I I don't you know I don't dislike. Is wait is she from Azua Lane maybe? Is she one of the shit? No. I don't think she is. We've got a cat girl. Again, let me know who she... Also, have you noticed everything is hollow? But, like, it's regular. So it's like the, um... It's like the rares in Cardfight Vanguard. Like, everything... Well, so a rare will have this type, and then you'll get, like, super rare, which is... Ooh! Actually, yeah, you know what? This is probably the SR equivalent, as opposed to, um... Actually, no, never mind, they're kind of the same hollow design. Okay, I was lying. Um, is she Love Live, maybe? Like, vaguely looks familiar, but I've never watched Love Live or played the... Oh, oh, that, that was my last one. Okay, cool. Well, we'll end it there, then, because that's how the advent calendar works. Pull of the video, Sagiri. Uh, that is all. I will see you guys tomorrow for December the 2nd. Until then, goodbye.